Okay, this is our last uh, online module for the semester, and um, I wanted to go over uh, what this what this particular module is about, and um, kind of then send you on your merry way. So um, the topic of this uh, module is ex examining local area malls. Okay, this is a team project, and there are a number of articles that I want you to read before you go out. There's like six or seven articles that really kind of talk about some of the challenges that today's mall operators are facing. And a lot of it has to do with um, retailers desperately trying to get out of the mall and going to lifestyle centers um, and uh, malls not being the destination that they used to be. Um, and again, you know, if you, if you think about some of the reasons for that, and we've talked about these almost since day one of this class, is that when uh, uh, when malls were first built there simply wasn't a lot of retail out there and people would travel a long distance to go to a local area mall because you could get so many uh, shops you could you could have so much in terms of selection of shops in under one roof and uh, it was protected from the weather and people would go and hang out at the mall on a Sunday afternoon and shop and eat and play and all that good stuff uh, Today, you can do that just about anywhere, and a lot of lifestyle centers and some of the more modern outlet malls, like in Chesterfield Valley, provide lots of entertainment options, so there's no need to go to the mall anymore. So, um, as, as things have, as the retail environment has evolved over the years, malls have become less and less important. And, you know, could it be that the malls could have done something to try and adapt and change? Perhaps. Um, but then again, maybe not. Uh, it's I, it, you know ultimately there's simply too many choices that people have, and a mall, while it made a lot of sense uh, 30 years ago, just doesn't make a whole lot of sense today. Now, um, some of the more upscale malls like uh, Plaza Frontenac and the Galleria uh, are probably going to be okay in the long run as long as they can maintain the mix of tenants that they have. Um, but some of the more traditional malls, which are anchored by Sears and, you know, and uh, Macy's, like Chesterfield Mall, are in real, real trouble. Um, so the article that I had passed out today, uh, I'm sorry, the article that I passed out at a recent class period talked about um, some of the challenges that the Chesterfield Mall owners were facing and, um, and whether or not that particular mall is going to be in existence uh, a, a year from now. It could be bulldozed and turned into a lifestyle center or a movie theater or um, offices, okay? So there's a lot of ideas that are being kicked around regarding what can be done with malls. And some of them include converting malls to mixed use developments, which would be where people would actually live inside the mall, of course, renovated in condos or whatever, or flats or whatever it may be, and then have some shopping available and some restaurants available and, and whatnot. Um, or putting medical office space in malls, uh, doctor's offices, uh, outpatient clinics, and that kind of thing. So, um, so it's a very tricky question that malls face today. And you've got these giant enclosed structures that are becoming less and less popular. So is it as easy as simply getting rid of the retailers and popping in office space and, and residential space, or is it more complicated than that? So this assignment, I want you to pick a local mall. And you can pick any mall of your choice. You can pick you can pick one that's close. If you want to just go down the street to the Galleria, that's fine. Or you can venture out to Chesterfield Mall. Or if you dare, you can go to the St. Louis Mills. Uh, make sure you go in a group uh, during daytime. And... Um, and then what I want you to do is I want you to, this is a team project, so um, you can split up and go to different malls or you can go as pairs or whatnot. Um, and you, you, all of you, all the members in your team can go to a different mall or go to the same mall on different occasions. But come back and make sure that you put all of your experiences into one document and upload it to your team folder. So a couple things I want you to do. There's a six or seven articles I want you to read in the folder first, okay, and they kind of, it's just a, a sampling of some of the analysis that's going on today about malls. And then pick a mall that you would like to study, okay, describe its history and other details of the mall, um, like leasing arrangements. Oftentimes you can get that information 
on, on the mall's website. Um, describe the number of tenants, the traffic, and a lot of that can be found in, in uh, background information for uh, leasing agreements, okay? And, uh, and then, of course, visit the mall and describe your experience while you were at the mall. What, what day of the week did you go? Did you go on a weekend? Was it crowded? Was it not crowded? Um, were people carrying lots of bags or were people carrying nothing? Um, notice how the stores, are there, is, are there lots of vacancies? And we've seen some pictures of Chesterfield Mall. The answer, of course, is yes. Um, are there stores that are clustered together, like stores or complementary stores clustered together in physical locations of the mall? Um, what tenants occupy higher priced uh, real estate in the mall, like those that receive a lot more traffic in or around entrances and exits? Okay. Um, are certain areas of the mall more heavily occupied than others? And if so, why might that be? Okay. Um, and then provide an assessment of whether the mall will be or continue to be successful in the future. Um, if you think that it's in a death spiral, quote unquote, death spiral, and can't be saved, go ahead and say that. And, um, you know, and, and then give me some idea as to how long the mall will be around. Okay. Um, so um, it should be a fun project, give you about a week or so to do it. We, we'll talk about it after the, um, we'll talk about it in about a week, in uh, about a week and a half perhaps. Um, so um, hope you have fun and uh, looking forward to hearing all of your experiences about visiting a local area mall.